Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We are very quickly approaching the final season of Warzone 1 and I guess Vanguard uh, by association as well. Season 5 is only a little ways away right now. As of right now, it is set to drop on August 24th pending any delays or you know major interruptions or anything like that and of course with the new season we've got plenty of content inbound for warzone for vanguard for a mixture of both today we're going over everything we know about season five so far based off of official information that i've learned via different calls with raven or leaks that we've seen surface over the past few weeks so uh like i said august 24th is that official date for season five to drop uh, i should drop a day earlier on vanguard usually it's tuesday it goes live in vanguard and that introduces the patch notes but none of the content and then on wednesday it goes live in warzone and as soon as that warzone update hits then everything uh within the season five update for all the content the battle pass everything like that ends up dropping in both games so it is time gated to the 24th but we'll have two days of updates there uh obviously starting next week so just prepare yourself for that now first up let's go over some of the various leaks that we've seen we've got leaks for weapons some operators even a brand new crossover event uh that seems to be headed towards warzone and vanguard times umbrella academy which of course is a super super popular show right now according to various leaks we've seen so far regarding this we are going to see a full crossover with umbrella academy in each game featuring different store bundles these are going to be uh bundled based around some characters so we got one bundle that was leaked for cha-cha another bundle that was leaked for hazel each of these will include uh some operator skins uh some tracer rounds which apparently are going to be themed more around the show those uh seem to be like the main draw of those bundles is those tracer round weapons so we've got that dropping at some point here within season five according to the leaks keep in mind as always with leaks and rumors this stuff is subject to change we're also not sure if that's going to happen right at launch could be with season five reloaded any time in between we're just not sure for that for the weapons we have heard of three different ranged ones which of course lines up with the usual release schedule for any given season we always get two new weapons for free via the battle pass right as the season launches and then in the mid-season update we get another new weapon for free obviously all ranged weapons uh, and that mid-season one is via a challenge then also a store bundle real quick before we go over the names of these just a quick reminder if you are new to the channel every day i am covering everything going on in cod news updates loadouts tips you name it it's all right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1 million and if you enjoyed this video as we're breaking everything down feel free to drop a like on it as well but it seems like as of right now we have a confirmed rifle known as the em1 this of course is the predecessor to the em2 you might recall that there was also an em1 back in advanced warfare which was like a laser rifle or lmg i can't remember off the top of my head highly unlikely that it's going to be a laser rifle uh and obviously vanguard a world war ii game although they've kind of steered away from realism so who knows at this point but uh most likely the predecessor to the em2 is dropping there uh there's been an ra225 leaked as the name of another one of the weapons we're not sure exactly the classification there some players are theorizing that could be a sniper other players are saying that could be a pistol unfortunately we just don't have enough information regarding that one to narrow it down specifically uh then finally there has been a rumored smg that's shown up in the files apparently it's going to be similar to a pm 63 so uh we could be getting another new rifle another new smg then potentially uh, a new pistol a new sniper i guess the ra225 could kind of be any weapon classification honestly i do think it's very interesting though that if keyword if these leaks do come to fruition we have the chance of never seeing a new uh you know pistol added in with dlc for vanguard i don't think we've seen a dlc shotgun and literally before season one even dropped the lee enfield was being leaked as a new dlc weapon because it was obviously in the campaign uh we also saw camo files for it as well apparently that were data mined yet we are coming up on the final season now and there's no sign of the lee enfield so that's a very interesting situation there just sort of goes to show that yes leaked content is not always guaranteed to drop in game now as for our season five operators this is sort of a weird situation because we don't know of any of the seasonal operators now of course every single season we also get three new operators one as like the main battle pass operator and then two via store bundles later on within a season this time around the only operators that we've seen leaked recently are those sort of classic and icon operators that we've talked about previously so Rourke from Ghosts uh that is one of the leaked operators and I believe the art for his character was actually posted on ArtStation from a Vanguard dev a few days back and then taken down so that sort of adds some validity to that 
we also have Khalid Al Assad from Modern Warfare 2019, of course, and uh, it's rumored and leaked that he's going to be the pre order bonus operator for uh, MW2. We also have Seraph from Black Ops 3 that was in the files, and then finally Raul Menendez. Uh, of course, these are all iconic characters in the COD franchise from various different games, but none of them necessarily fit with a seasonal theme, so we're not sure if these are going to be featured in a store bundle based around the season or just a random bundle on any given day, or if perhaps one of these could be based in the battle pass we're just not sure as of right now now moving on to what is officially confirmed for season five as of right now of course in the coming days because we're not all that far from launch we're probably going to see some official teasers eventually a roadmap and then a new blog post and a trailer for the new season drop as well when that stuff happens you guys already know i'm going to be covering it here on the channel so obviously stay tuned for that but uh we do have a bit of information on some in-game updates coming to warzone uh presumably with season five this includes a setting for toggling your gas mask on or off manually we of course saw this initially sort of previewed with season four reloaded the setting was added into the menu but uh it wasn't actually live in game so that setting didn't do anything so they removed that uh that should be back with season five and you can now choose if you want to keep your mask on or off as the gas is rotating in rather than having that animation interrupt you when you're trying to you know fight enemies and engage and that ultimately gets you killed so super super big quality of life update there that i am very much so looking forward to there's also apparently going to be a setting for toggling your loadout selection, whether you want your loadouts, uh, the selection rather, to always start at the top of your loadout list in game when you go to grab your loadouts, or if you want to have it start wherever you selected uh, in the pregame lobby. So if you select loadout number seven in the pregame, it'll always start on loadout number seven. So you can instantly grab that if you're in a sticky situation. Uh, both of those settings were confirmed by Ted Timmons during a developer call with Raven. So uh, we know those are officially on the horizon obviously with a new season we're going to get our final battle pass for the vanguard era and our final battle pass for warzone one as far as the content here of course we know it'll feature one of those operators two of those weapons that we talked about and then uh i would not be surprised at all if this uh battle pass had at least some mw2 themes throughout it i wouldn't expect the whole pass to be mw2 themed but maybe here and there we get a blueprint potentially like what we saw before with uh vanguard getting those weapons early in a cold war battle pass maybe we see an mw2 weapon in this battle pass not necessarily right at launch but maybe a few weeks in closer to the launch of mw2 uh we could just see like maybe some calling cards some emblems maybe some operator skins that are more mw2 themes just to build some hype for that game other than that though the pass is likely just going to include the most standard of stuff operator skins weapon blueprints double xp for weapons and your overall rank uh all sorts of the usual stuff like that the filler stuff calling cards stickers emblems so on and so forth all that being said though that is effectively everything that we currently know about season five here in warzone and vanguard and that's gonna wrap things up for today if you guys enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it would be seriously appreciated and if you are new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed every single day i got you covered with the latest news updates loadouts tips everything going on in cod you are going to find it right here so feel free to subscribe with those notifications turned on that way you'll always know whenever i post a new video and as always if you want to check out any of my partners be sure to use code immortal for a discount on all scuff g fuel gamer advantage and control freak products and the links for all those can be found down in the description below but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out